Welcome back, Pisces, to your July weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy is interchangeable. That means it can go vice versa. And this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest, okay? All right, last one. I'm sorry. One more notification. Hold on. One more. <clears throat> okay. Pisces, you got luck is on your side with a win-win outcome is forecast here. This is an amazing combination. Something that you've longed for for a long time is now going to be gifted to you, okay? We also got bring love into the situation here. So I feel like this has more to do with um, the water fairy and letting go. When the water fairy appears, it definitely uh, warns us that emotions could be running the show here, okay? And letting go, those things need to be released, things we, we hold on to, a certain way of feeling and thinking um, because our thoughts turn into feelings. So it's just letting go of our old schemas and things like that that need to be addressed. But bringing love into the situation here uh, is more uh, is more understanding of being forgiven and, and I'm sorry being forgiving and understanding another person's point of view so it's very much can be um, what's going on in this situation for uh, the person you're dealing with so let's uh, <clears throat> see what you're doing right now in regards to you Knight of Pentacles the moon and the judgment card so there's something, there's something that you're feeling a bit uncomfortable with. Uh, you're not quite sure if you can put your finger on it in regards to this person, uh, but you would like to, right? You would like to gain more knowledge on something, but there's something that's a little unsettling that you can't quite put your finger on. Tell with the moon card. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. How to achieve this here? Could be in regards to work, okay, or a family uh, situation. Uh, if you are, if you uh, do have another uh, person in your perimeter, okay. But this is very much understanding how to succeed and get to that ten, okay, completion here. Um, and you're not quite sure how to get this I'm seeing with this person. How do I, how do I really, it's almost like finding the missing clues on really how to, um, how to get this person to kind of grip on to, to you, to understanding you, to getting you to, uh, to communicate with them, or even there's an emotional aspect. Tell about the judgment card. Ten of Wands, yeah. It's like in order for you to make a decision on this in regards to this person, you need more information. You need to find out certain truths or some piece of the puzzle here. So let's see what they're doing right now in regards to you. I see you've been very um, patient, very loyal and steady with this person, um, possibly waiting on communication here for a while. Uh, Ten of Cups, Justice, Seven of Pentacles, and the World card. So um, what they're doing is, you know, what you want to be, to find out, is they actually, like you make them really happy. They actually love you. Uh, Ten is like the max, the completion in this which means that they would like to spend their life with you you're the person that they see themselves settling down with uh that you get them on an emotional level but there's very much about um emotions running the show here so i feel like at times this person could have been overly uh emotional overly uh and i don't mean like just 
you know, crying, things like that. I mean, the way that they express themselves could have been so emphasized with their emotions, okay? Even in regards to being angry, things like that, they would uh, be hypersensitive to certain things that possibly were said by you, but they're taken out of context, okay? Tell about the Justice card. Queen of Pentacles. They want to offer you commitment here. They want to offer you a stable um, environment for you to feel comfortable with coming to them and expressing yourself. But it seems like maybe you've not done that. You've kind of held back here. You've been patient. Seven of Pentacles and the World card. They're kind of viewing you the same. Uh, Pisces, kind of figuring out how do I, there's something I need to know to make a decision, right? Uh, for you, this is them wondering what, what am I doing? What, what am I doing wrong? Uh, what do I need to do in order to get this thing off the ground here or to get it started, uh, in the direction that they want it to go. Okay. Tell me about this queen of pentacles. Three of Pentacles, yeah. They're actually more than willing to work with you and uh, work with you on things and try to figure out together uh, how can we, you know, fix this. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Ace of Wands, my gosh. They want, uh, you know, they want to take action on this so that it, it does turn into a situation where it's long term, okay? Uh, luck is definitely on your side. Uh, Win-win forecast. If you've been waiting and you've not even received communication for a while or something's happened, um, just know that it's not what it seems. Uh, things have actually gone in your favor here. So let's see what happened in the past. Pisces. Four of Wands. Emperor. Tell the Emperor. Fool card. It's almost in the past someone really uh, stepped up to the plate and um, I just heard lackadaisical. Uh, but I feel like in the past here somebody kind of stepped up to the plate but in a way that was uh, I want to say like a little off putting here because with the full card it's yes it's a new beginning but it's very it's the beginning and it's hesitancy um it is taking a risk here but it's without thinking here with the emperor okay it's very um it's very off so tell me about this fool two of wands tell me about the two wands empress yeah, see, they, you might have heard in the past that they want commitment with you. We have the Emperor, em, Empress here with the Two of Wands. Uh, where is it? Sorry. With the Two of Wands here, okay? Having this new beginning. Four of Wands is uh, being happy with each other, enjoying each other's company, uh, whether it be phone or physical, whatever it is. Uh, but what's bothering me here is the Fool. Okay, uh, I'm picking up an energy from the Fool card that this seems oh so f uh, fantasizing, so great, uh, but at the same time, um, it seemed a little foolish, right? It seemed a little bit like, well, those are uh, dreams in the sky, but you know we haven't really talked about how we'll achieve that. Okay, not that it's not bad. It's just uh, it's a little just not talking about details of things and, and how to actually make that shift happen into the real 3D realm. Okay, let's see what the challenge is. Let's get some more details on this. What was the challenge? Here. We have Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, The Magician, and The Knight of Cups. Definitely old baggage, emotional baggage, when the Knight of Cups comes up as uh, 
uh, challenge here. It's definitely baggage is running the show, okay? So very much the water fairy here. So things that emotional triggers, things like that, that bother this person, uh, that they've, it's like old residue energy from old schemas that they used to, uh, that they used to think about. And it's like, even though you didn't mean certain things you said, definitely it triggered them and they thought it to mean something else. Okay. Not what it really meant, but that's how they viewed it. So their emotions could seem extreme at times or Possibly hypersensitive. Yeah, page of wands. Okay, so very much uh, an immature type of way of communicating emotions. Okay, it just seemed like kind of all over the place. Some of the magician, page of swords. Uh, in regards to their emotion, could have also been that they've gained um, <clears throat> these these uh, unfortunate skills, okay, of always trying to push the envelope, trying to get information out of you, acting as if like, basically, you're the one that wants to, it's like convincing you, you're the one that wanted the information uh, without, while they're the ones that wanted it. So I want to say like, I know it's kind of, it's a little weird. It's kind of like saying when um, you want somebody to do something, you make them think it's their idea. They would twist words or twist their the way they said things emotionally to try to uh, make you feel like you were in the wrong or you how you, how things were going were because you were processing that the wrong way. Okay, if you kind of get it, <clears throat> it's a little bit twisted. This. Uh, the reading's a little twisted in the way that there's some details on emotions here. I'm really getting um, like a thick of it. Uh, Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups as the challenge. So not really being able to leave these old patterns behind, right? Not leaving uh, old vices on how this person relied on things uh, in the situation to kind of help to help boost them or make them uh, feel better about themselves, okay? It's very much stroking the ego when they would use the way that they would communicate with you. It would help soothe them in some way. And it's just it's just letting their baggage come in. But <clears throat> to the Nine of Cups, uh, the challenge here is they didn't realize that you were very much open and vulnerable and able to hear them out no matter what, that they didn't have to um, to get what they want here in the nine, right? To feel comfortable and feel safe and feel like uh, you guys are really syncing up, but they weren't able to really achieve that. So they didn't, they didn't understand uh, why things were so rocky with you because they weren't letting go. You know, they weren't letting go of their own emotions here. Okay. <clears throat> So I see a lot of, uh, it's just the way that this person, I just heard they would use uh, emotional detachment uh, and uh, silent treatment as uh, a form of punishment. So they could have very much uh, just not talked to you for a while, right? Just to punish you, but you would wonder what's going on. You're always trying to figure out here what there's something missing here. What is this person doing? Why do they do this? I'm it's so easy just to be let's just be open and vulnerable with each other. I don't understand. It's that type of energy. So we have four of swords, the sun, and the temperance card. So as an action here. This person is very much trying to uh, get balance within themselves, kind of sift through why they're feeling this extreme way. Um, do they want to work with you and love? And they they do they have love for you? Yeah, they do. Okay, tell me about the four of swords, tower. Yeah, they're trying to get through this. They feel very off kilter. Tower, nine of wands. I, they feel off kilter without you, okay? They kind of feel like they're on the sidelines right now, uh, just kind of waiting for kind of an impending doom of what your answer is going to be or 
if they come towards you, are, are you kind of at your last straw with this? Tell about the sun card. King of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. So they're they're going to come towards you and very much um, reciprocate, okay? Hear you out as well as voice their emotional opinion, but not in a way that's very uh, rough like before, very off balance. Tell me about the Temperance card. And I see that their emotions too in the past <clears throat> as you guys were in when it was good it was really good when it was bad it's just bad really bad but when they were good they were they would express themselves even emotionally make you feel like there were you know pigs flying basically you just always felt like on cloud nine but when they detach it was just like you felt like you lost uh, something so great right uh, temperance five of Pentacles they're they're missing you and they're feeling very uh lonely without you okay and they <clears throat> that's why i think right now there's a bit of detachment there's a non-communication but it's coming luck is on your side uh you're about to see this person uh come to you because the four swords um sun card here is they are getting clarity okay they are starting to understand why this emotional turmoil here? Why am I so restless? Why do I feel like I'm always on the outs? So that's the insecurity is all this emotional outbursts and um, emotions running the show is because they are so afraid of uh, kind of being happy and allowing things to flow naturally without controlling it. All right, so they are going to, yes, you are going to hear from them. You're about to receive a message here, okay? There's, there, but they're going to wait for your response. So this tells me that you might be kind of hesitant on this, uh, but there's an apology here, okay? They wanna express how they truly feel about you. They don't wanna lose you, um, but the choice is yours. You have free will, but they are, wanting to make a change here in the three of wands this is change yeah strength three of cups you know uh, moving up the ladder here and being able to enjoy each other again and not being in this in this space of uh, detachment and silent treatment okay uh, but you're about to see this person uh, in a new way like uh, a new vision of who they really are whereas before you couldn't really put a finger on it but you kind of thought how they are but you just needed that little piece of information well it's coming you're about to receive it and we're gonna see if this is resonating with you we're gonna see where this is going in the extended uh, we're gonna go over um, the future action that this person's gonna take the outcome and get details on uh, what happens all around the situation okay other than that if this is your last stop thank you so much for joining me 